We are off to Northern Ireland to meet two young reporters who want to tell us about the big changes that have been happening in their school. Hi, News Round. I'm Robin. And I'm Noah. And we're from County Antrim. This is our playground. It is very big. We come here for our break and our lunch. It's nice we have benches to eat our lunch on. There's been a lot of changes to our school in the past year. That's because our school is now integrated and has now run slightly differently than before. Here's Degra to explain more. Thanks, Robin and Noah. In the past, there has been a lot of division between the two main communities in Northern Ireland who often have quite different opinions on many different aspects of life. Unionists want to remain part of the United Kingdom and are often from a Protestant background, while nationalists, who want to be part of a united island and have traditionally been from a Catholic background. But these divisions have often led to children from two communities going to separate schools. This has been the case for a long time and many people don't see why it needs to change. But many others think this way of doing things makes it more difficult for children to meet others from a different background, learn from their experiences and hear alternative points of view. That's why both the Northern Ireland and UK government have been encouraging more schools to become integrated, which means having equal numbers of children of both communities going to the same school, as well as children from other religious and cultural backgrounds. Well, before I came to this school, I went to a different school. Now, you've been here the whole time, so what was it like for you when the school became integrated? Well, before it was integrated, I didn't know what integrated meant. But after I learned it and I got to make new friends, learn new, how to play new sports, basketball, rugby, netball, and I'd met lots of new people that I wouldn't have met if the school didn't become integrated. This is our head teacher, Mr. Core. What made you want the school to become integrated? Before we became integrated, there were some boys and girls who lived very close to the school and they went to other primary schools much further away. So whenever we became integrated, a lot of the people who lived locally came to their local school. And what did you have to do for the school to become integrated? Um, we asked the parents if they wanted our school to become integrated and a lot of them said yes. So we wrote a report and we sent it to the local government and they said yes too. There's a lot more boys and girls now attend our school and we've had some new teachers and some other new members of staff. And as well as that, the boys and girls got to learn about different religions all around the world, which was very, which was very exciting and a lot of fun. Do you think more schools will become integrated? I think a lot more schools will become integrated, though it's up, for, up to the parents to decide if they want that to happen to their schools in the future. The Northern Ireland government has said it supports the idea of more schools becoming integrated and earlier this year passed a law to encourage the people in charge of education in Northern Ireland to do more to support and encourage integrated education. But not everyone agrees. Some schools, politicians as well as churches say they're worried this will harm existing schools with more money and resources going to integrated schools instead. They also argue the new law assumes that an integrated school is the only possible way children from different backgrounds can learn together, which they say isn't the case. The UK government has given almost £2 million to support integrated schooling in the future. But as things stand, fewer than one in 10 children in Northern Ireland go to an integrated school. I'm glad the school's now integrated because it allows more children to come to school who wouldn't have before. And we even have some Ukrainians in our school now. I hope Northern Ireland can become a more respectful place and more environmentally friendly.